Today we are testing the Phantom 4 series low noise propellers. For my sound analysis, I am using the Radio Shack sound level meter, Smart Live for the spectrum analyzer, and the spectrograph. Adobe Audition will give us the waveforms. To capture the audio for this test, I'm using a modest Marshall Studio microphone. And this is what DJI has to say about their new propellers. The 9455S propellers have a brand new aerodynamic design, giving the Phantom 4 series an impressive noise control performance. When used with the Phantom 4 Pro version 2, up to 4 dB or 60% of aircraft noise is lowered during takeoff and landing. Noise reduction is also enhanced when used with the Phantom 4 Pro, but not as much. I will be conducting this test with the Phantom 4 Pro, not the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. Let's listen to the old propellers. Now let's listen to the new propellers. To me, the sound difference is subtle. So let's use some analysis tools to really determine what's going on. Let's listen to the old propellers. Now let's listen to the new propellers. So what we were looking at is a real-time analyzer on the top and a spectrograph on the bottom. So I put them side by side so we could see exactly what's going on. White is the loudest, red is next, green, blue, and black is the quietest. So we can see right off the bat that on takeoff, the left or old propellers are louder at certain frequencies. Now we'll look and listen during hover. I will toggle the audio back and forth between the old and the new several times so we can hear the difference. During hover you can see the old propeller it's a little louder in the higher frequencies and a little louder in the mid-range frequencies. There's a lot more white spots on the older propellers and the information on the left of the old propeller is probably just wind. And to go even further, here is the waveform from each propeller. Now this meter shows a minus number. So minus seven is louder than a minus 10. We can also see the difference during the hover. Now the landing is a little bit more complex. The old propellers have a lot of peaks and it's somewhat loud throughout the whole landing process where the new one doesn't even seem to change level at all during the landing except for the two little transient peaks. But when you lay the waveforms on top of each other, you see the true difference between the two propellers.
and thank you for watching this test from Sedona UAS.